Wow, this is beautiful. This is the best day ever. I am so excited. Hey, party people. Good morning, crusty crew. It's Black Friday. I'm here not with Ross, but with Ross's sister. We're gonna go shopping for the Avengers Tower this morning. Also, we're matching. This is very cute. We got up at 6 a.m., but the Lego store here also opened at 6 a.m., which is kind of crazy. The mall's not super packed right now. I mean, there's a lot of cars here for it being like, what, 7.15 in the morning? I think it's 7.15. And it was kind of nice that they opened so early because before we left for the mall this morning, we were able to call and be like, do you still have the Avengers Tower? How many do you have? Do you have any of the G-Wops in stock? And they actually have everything, or at least they did as of like 30 minutes ago. They said they still had like 16 Avengers Towers and all of the gift purchases in stock. So hopefully that's still the case. They said if we got here within like an hour, it would be good. And it's been 30 minutes, so I hope they have it. Merry almost Christmas, y'all. Look at the tree. Also, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. We had a really nice turkey meal. It was awesome. So yeah, it is definitely a little bit hectic this morning. I'm a little stressed on whether or not we're gonna get the Avengers Tower, but hopefully we can. If we can't, then we do have a backup plan. And I'm not gonna show you what that is until we get inside, because I don't think you guys will believe me, but it's a set that Ross really wants, and I think that we could really use too. Liz is a lot shorter than Ross. I'm not used to this. We just got to the Lego store. We're about to go in, and Liz has found the rock that was stuck in her shoe. So on display here, they have the Avengers Tower, and it is wild how massive this thing is. It's $500. I am a little bit nervous about spending that, but honestly, it's so worth it. It'll look so good in the city, and I think I might already have a spot for it, so we'll see. We'll have to add it at some point. And then the Venator and the Green Gods. One day I'll get that one. Oh, by the way, here's Liz for scale. She's like five four, five, two. I don't know. She's, she's kind of tiny. She's like a foot shorter than my husband. And then over here, we have more info on the different G-Wops. So this is what I'm here for today, as well as the Avengers Tower. It's a little taxi cab gift with purchase. I think that those pieces are actually printed, which is exciting, not stickers. So I'll get that one for free with the purchase of the Avengers Tower and then the market stall. It looks fine. I'm happy that it's a free gift with purchase, but there's nothing like too wild about it. I don't really like how the studs on the front look as much as like a smooth build. And then also the little workshop we're going to get today because we're definitely spending more than that. Oh yeah, and I guess this one too, of 40 or more. Man, we're getting a whole stack today. This is gonna be awesome. All right, now let's head inside. So this is kind of cool. They had a bunch of these papers here. So I'm number 17. I guess I'm the 17th person to be in line for an Avengers Tower. And this just allows me to like look around and walk around a little bit without them selling out of it. Like this is my little voucher for one once I get the checkout. And speaking of looking around a little bit, I want to check out the sales. So I looked online to see kind of what would be on sale today, but I didn't know what would be in stock in store because like who knows, right? So this one here, I'm thinking about getting this for my friend for Christmas like she's a huge Disney fan so I thought that that would be good maybe not that one I don't think that that would be a good gift for her but like maybe those two I know that the Haunted Mansion was on sale for a while oh wait here we go they have one so this could actually be really nice because my friend is a huge Disney fan so I'm thinking about like stocking up on like Christmas presents for her something like that plus maybe the up house actually and my sister-in-law Liz is so kind to help me out today thank you Liz I feel like this might be a better option though and it's like not really spooky season anymore okay actually yeah let's put this one back and and maybe I'll think about this one. Looking over at more of the sale stuff, they do have a lot of the Disney Brickheads on sale, which is really neat. This one's 15. I think it's marked down, yeah, from 25. 14 marked down from 20. 14 marked down from 20. Ooh, Daisy's on sale too. That's actually pretty cool. So yeah, I feel like it might be a good time to like stock up on some of these for like little stocking stuffers or gifts for my friend. And I feel like I saw this one on sale somewhere recently. It might've been like Target or Walmart. It was like 30% off, or maybe it was at Target actually, and it was $30 off. This one's so good for bookshelves. Like if you have a Lego display, this one looks so good and all the minifigures are incredible i'm so happy we finally have gaston okay this is so cute so in the front they have like a little winter village kind of thing display set up they have all of the current winter village sets and like santa's reindeer battle pack which is very exciting i do like that one a lot we're currently trying to motorize this in the lego city to have it kind of like start and stop and go back and forth like with a color sensor so stay tuned it's actually working beautifully it's really cool i also really like that outhouse back there i don't know why i just think that's like kind of fun to have in a winter village also y'all i just ran into the brick belayers i think they're only here for the brick heads. Yeah. There's a few brick heads on sale. We'll see, but I'm sure there's something else we'll get. It was neat running into them here. I've hung out with them a few times as well as like with Jean's version. So very cool to see them today. But now looking over here, there's another sale for the sports center. What is the sports center? Oh yeah, we kind of like integrated this into the city kind of to do like a sports complex. I'll show you guys at some point. And I'm just kind of shocked at how many sales and red tags there are in here. I don't know if I've ever come on Black Friday before. This is actually a really new experience for me. I am enjoying it so far. I don't know if my sister-in-law is, but... She's, she's a good sport. She's doing good. Looks like a lot of the Lego City stuff is on 
sale, or at least like a few sets down here are, but I think it's, oh yeah, it's a stunts. I guess that kind of makes sense. I'm not too surprised about that one. This one here is actually one of my favorite Lego city sets right now. It just looks so good in the city and all the pieces are kind of like modular and you can integrate them well with like other city sets. I actually don't see it on the shelves right now. They don't have it in stock, but there's some that are kind of similar to this and you can like mix and match the pieces or like expand upon it. It's actually really cool. And then this little turtle, we have this set. We still need to build it. Ross loves turtles. So I feel like this will be kind of fun to like have in the city at least in some capacity maybe if it's just like even the tortilla truck what is that liz wants a taco i don't think it's actually a tortilla truck i think it's the dream tortuga. craft yeah tortuga like tortol i do know that ross wants this one but i'm like where are we gonna put that like that's my first thought like where would this go oh and here it is built this thing is wild yeah maybe i will get it for him Oh yeah, the bunny's cute. And then over in the world of Lego icons, they have the modern art. And I normally wouldn't even show this one. Like, I just really don't care for it. It's not for me, but my sister-in-law Liz was looking at it. She was like, whoa, that is so cool. And I was like, huh, that's really neat. So like, it definitely appeals to like newer or like casual fans, which is really exciting to know. She also really likes the other art sets. It's just kind of fun like shopping with people with different Lego tastes. Cause I feel like Ross and I have very similar tastes. Like we see this and we're like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. So it's really fun having her here today. And then the flowers. I'm I'm kind of surprised that the tiny plants didn't come out today as well but i guess it's an excuse to come back maybe they are for pre-sale online on amazon right now so you can actually like order them and get them delivered pretty soon but they will be at lego stores on december 1st and in the a-frame cabin i've gotten so many requests for the lego city to like transform this into gravity falls like the mystery shack and i want to do that at some point but i'm also kind of hesitant to like ruin this one or like take it apart because it's like perfect as it is and i feel like with my mock building skills it won't look like a beautiful mystery shack right away so i'm gonna hold off for a little bit and then there's the minifig here the giant one i bought this a few months ago and i really want to build it soon i think it got put away into a closet or something because i was like redoing my loft around when i bought this oh this is cool i guess it's triple points right now i didn't realize that there was triple points going on that's good to know i don't really want the corvette but that's good to know that there are triple point sets hanging around at the lego store right now it looks like the land rover is also three times points and then they have the home alone house and liz was looking at this one earlier too and she thought it was really cool how it like opened up in the front so so she definitely wants this, but I'm like, man, Liz, that's like 230 bucks, maybe one day. Oh wow, then the Razor Crest. I actually just saw someone buying this and they got like a giant yellow bag. It was so cool. But yeah, this one's $600 marked down to 420, which is awesome. Almost $200 off, <laughs> that's kind of wild. Wait, and the Lion Knight's Castle's also on sale for $100 off. This was the best set of last year. And then looking at the pick a brick wall, it looks pretty similar to the last time I was here, but I'll talk through what we're seeing. These pieces, I'm actually running really low on them. Like what are these, the 10? by two plates i might pick some of those up especially since i'm starting to work on the greenery area again in the city but we'll see and then these nougaty colors are just beautiful i don't need them but i just think the color is awesome i'm running through these pieces kind of quickly they're like i don't know ross calls them like the poor man's masonry brick they're like the little curvy lincoln log kind of things and they're really nice for the winter village because like they're kind of smooth on the side but they're still a little bit textured so it's fun but easy to build with and then this one here this is actually pretty cool they have a bunch of hearts i don't think i've seen these before or maybe i've seen like the pink ones before on the wall that's pretty exciting those are really cute but generally there's not really too much here that's worth getting today especially since i'm about to spend like 500 dollars for the avengers tower and there's not really any new pieces that i'm seeing so i think i'm just gonna hold off this is the only piece that i'm really considering getting but i already have a bunch of them if they were the l-shaped ones like the you know the l-shaped green plates then i would probably go for it because i run out of those so quickly like like, I just fly through those when I'm building in the city. But these are not L-shaped, so I will pass. Oh, and this is kind of crazy, too. So City Gardens here is on sale, marked down from $350 to $280. That's actually a really good price. And then this one here, I still need to build it. It just looks incredible. It's huge. I didn't realize how big it was until, like, last time I was at the Lego store. I just like the little trolley thing that goes back and forth. That's going to be awesome. <coughs> this looks like the car that I won Mario Kart with last night. I beat Emily really badly. Emma. Should I say Emma? Emily's really bad at Mario Kart. Liz's nickname is... Is the lizard and that's her you come in this set liz that's incredible lizard it looks like they have a bunch of star wars in stock which is pretty awesome i guess like that makes sense because there's no sales over here so like people aren't gonna you know be buying this right now without double points or a sale or something especially on black friday i still want to get this at some point we have one ross built it but i wanted to build it and he built it so i'm kind of bummed about it so maybe one day i'll pick that one up liz really likes this thing do you have this this uh, is so cute. I don't know what that. Well, well we have that, but I don't know what, what that is. That? Is it a capybara? Is we need him. You want that? I do want it. Yeah, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, we'll try to find one of those for Liz. Looking over at the Technic sets, for some reason, um, I mentioned earlier that there was a set that we were kind of interested in, and it's this one here, because it's a remote control kind of set, and I just really like how it looks, but most importantly, it's remote control, and I've always wanted to play with something like that. If they didn't have Avengers Tower today, and I wasn't already gonna be spending like $500, I would probably be picking this one up, because I still want those gift with purchases. Luckily, they still have Avengers Tower, so I get to wait on this one, and I think it's on sale on Amazon for at least like $5 off. But just look at that, it looks pretty cool. Oh. That's kind of close to that It's a Santa. thing. It's yeah. Santa driving an Audi. Liz is pointing out everything in the store that I just don't care for. So she saw this and she was like, I really want the Rover. And I'm just so confused. She also likes the modern art and the Batman sets. And I'm like, okay, Liz, this is fun. <laughs> this is cool. It's like stuff I never really look at. So over here, we finally get an up-close view of the different gift with purchase sets. So this one is that winter market stall. It's cute. I'm happy that it's a gift with purchase. I do wish it was more like of an enclosed building or like smoother or something, but it is cute. And then the little $40 snowman. He's fun. He has like a little broom with him and a little hat. And then here we have Magisto's Magical Workshop when you spend over $250, which we are doing today. And it's just like the little workshop gift with purchase. That actually looks really nice. I'm happy that this is a gift with purchase today. It's a public domain. That's why he's here. No, they have licensing. It's Winnie the Pooh. Oh. They paid Disney a lot of money for that. Oh. All right, so me and Liz are in line to check out. We have some goodies and my little voucher. So we should be good to go. All right, we just left the Lego store. Here's the giant yellow bag. I wanted to carry it because I wanted the full experience of what it's like to buy this giant set today. Walk faster, Emily, walk faster. <laughs> but it's really heavy. I think Liz is stronger than I am. So muscular. <laughs> But yeah, that was actually incredible. That was a great Black Friday experience there. We're gonna go drop this off actually and then probably go do some more shopping. I'm out of breath. <laughs> this is too heavy. It's like 50 pounds. Yeah, maybe 30 pounds. Okay, wow. Here is the giant bag. All right, Liz. Are you ready for your first car haul? Yes, I'm ready. You have to do the chant. What's the chant? Car haul, car haul, car haul. A for effort. All right, car haul time. So in this giant Lego bag, we have a giant box with the Avengers Tower in it. I'll show you a clip of it later because I don't want to open it right now. It's Emily from the future and I'm going to open it now. I got some scissors. We are ready to go. I am so excited to see this in person. I don't remember the last time our Lego store did this where it's just like these brown boxes that you get, but it is kind of nice because it protects it a little bit more. All right, I'm going to be very careful with this. I do not want to actually scratch the box. And here we go. Wow, this is beautiful. I guess we get a view of the back of the box first. I am so excited to build this. I don't even know how many pieces are in this, so I'll have to flip it around and see. I really, really hope there's multiple instruction books here. Ooh. This is just a really good day. Look at this. I got it. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm way more excited now actually seeing it in person, seeing this set, like this box in my possession rather than like the brown box. There's 5,200 pieces in this, so it's definitely going to take a while, but... Man, it looks like such a fun build. And just look at all the minifigures in here. This is the best day ever. I am so excited. All right, back to the car haul now. All right, so first we got the Magical Workshop. I think you had to spend 250 to get this one, which we did. Ross will be very happy. He was very excited about getting this today. Next, we got the Marvel Taxi Cab gift with purchase. This was a G-WAP with the Avengers Tower set. And I don't think they even had enough of these to go with the Avengers Towers they got. They got like 25 or 30 in store and maybe only like 2025 of these. So I'm really glad I was able to get this today. I don't think there's really anything exclusive in it, but the pieces on it are printed, not stickers. Like we always say here, print it, don't stick it. Print it, don't stick it. Exactly. <laughs> and then we got the winter market stall. I don't really have any strong opinions on this set. It's free, so I'm grateful for that, but um, yeah, I just, like it. You think it's cool? I think it's really cute. Okay. It is cute. It's just not like my favorite winter gift purchase. It is kind of nice. It'll be good for our winter village if we do end up adding it to it before winter is over. There's like a lot of toys inside, which I didn't really realize before. And then finally, something for my friend, the Disney Brickheads. I already have these, otherwise I probably would have bought them for myself, but she really likes Disney and I figured this was a really good time to do some holiday shopping. They're cute, I like them. And last but not least, I do have this little snowman poly bag. I forgot to show it in the car because the bag was huge and it was kind of buried beneath everything and I just didn't feel it when I was feeling through there. But yes, we did get a little snowman poly bag as well. 
<laughs> okay. And then after the Lego store real quick, we did go to Abercrombie. I got three pairs of jeans. I have a hard time finding jeans because I'm really tall and like five foot ten. So I found some extra long jeans that I was very excited about. So overall today was a pretty hectic day. We got up at like 6, 6.30 and we're out of the house by 7. Got here around like 7.15. I'm glad we didn't get up super, super early for this because I don't think that would have been worth it. The Lego store employees were telling us that the first person in line got there an hour before 4.45. So they got there at 3.45 in the morning. Good for them. I'm, I'm glad they, they were first in line for the set, but I was just not going to do that. Normally I want to be first in line so I can be sure I get whatever's coming out, but I'm not that dedicated. But the Avengers Tower release just made me a little bit nervous in general because I saw that it sold out in Australia. Like, Australia is sold out completely of Avengers Tower, which is wild. I haven't checked anywhere else. It might actually be sold out online right now. I don't know. I'll probably check after this. But yeah, I just really wanted to get my hands on that. I think it'll look really good in the Lego City and we're gonna try to build it somewhat soon. I really hope there's multiple instruction books in it though because I need help and I think it'd be more fun to build it with Ross or maybe with Liz. But anyways, y'all, I am very happy I came today. This is my first ever Black Friday shopping at the Lego store, like in person. Normally we order online, I think. So I'm really glad we came. It was a lot of fun and we got some really good deals. So thank you everyone so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.